spray paint comes right off. Call or click now to get a large bottle of concentrated grease police with money back guarantee for just $14.99. Order now and you can double it and get a second bottle. Just pay a separate fee. That's two large bottles of concentrated grease police with guarantee. Order now. Call 1-800-569-4988 or visit getgreasepolice.com. So call 1-800-569-4988 now. Tune in as Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller leads the WJFW Weather Watch team to bring you the most up-to-the-minute weather data. Utilizing industry-leading technology, WJFW's award-winning weather team has you covered. Join the team during the broadcast on WJFW or streaming on Hulu Live, PlayStation View, and the NBC app. You're watching News Watch 12, news from where you live. Right now on News Watch 12 Today, as cases of the coronavirus grow around the world, officials with the Wisconsin Department of Health Services confirm the third case of coronavirus here in Wisconsin. We'll have the details. Plus, we're seeing some leftover snow showers this morning, especially for our southern counties. That will be getting on out of here. Your full forecast is coming up. This is new and unprecedented, certainly uh, in terms of the impact on our economy. And more than 115,000 people worldwide infected with the coronavirus. But the ripple effect from the disease can be felt by nearly everyone. We'll have more. It's Wednesday, March 11th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning and thanks for starting your day with us. I'm Marissa Silvis alongside Angela Kim and Angela this morning uh, we heard it from Devin yesterday but it was still <laughs> weird to walk outside and see a little snow on the ground. I know I was really surprised to see some on my car on the ground too but it sounds like it stopped this morning from what Devin told us just a minute ago. All right well for more on what to expect for the rest of the day let's head right on over to our weather center and Devin Biggs in for Tyler Moore this morning and Devin uh, like I said it sounds like it's still snowing maybe in some of our viewing area uh, but are we done for the day pretty much? Yeah for most of us especially for our northern county we're pretty much done with the snow. Maybe a few light flurries left over, but for our southern counties and areas like Plover, they're still seeing some snow as of this morning. Let's take a quick look at that camera. Actually, we're seeing look at the light there. We're still seeing some snow falling and the grass is covered up. You can see the grass yesterday on the sky cam. Now you can. not Here's the radar right now. The, the snow is moving from west to east, so we'll be getting out of here soon and we will be having clouds that will be hanging around for most of the day today. Might get lucky and see some sunshine, but that may be a little bit of a stretch. Temperatures right now 30 degrees in Rhinelander, 29 degrees in Tomahawk, 33 degrees in Wisconsin. Here is your bus stop forecast this morning. 29 degrees with some leftover flurries possible to get the kiddos out to school. It'll be clearing out by the afternoon hours. 41 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Your hourly forecast for the rest of the day. Temperatures warming up to 37 degrees by the noon hours. Your full forecast is coming up. A third person has tested positive for coronavirus in Wisconsin. According to the State Department of Health, that is, this is the second case in Dane County near Madison. The first reported case was in Dane County, the second in Pierce County in southwestern Wisconsin. And health officials say the first person has already made a full recovery. The most recent cases involve people who have not left the country, but did travel elsewhere within the U.S. Health officials have not released any information on where they specifically contracted the virus. The man convicted of killing four people in Chippewa County while driving under the influence will have a second day of sentencing. Police say Colton True huffed aerosol fumes in November of 2018 before hitting a Girl Scout troop on the side of the road. The girls were with their parents picking up litter and four of them died. True was found guilty of four counts of homicide last December. He faces up to 165 years in prison. On Tuesday, 29 victims gave impact statements, and the court is set to reconvene today. Governor Evers is proposing a package of legislation designed to control spring flooding, even though the state assembly has adjourned for the session. The bill's proposed Tuesday would cover a portion of local government's costs to repair highways and bridges and allocate another $10 million to help local governments build structures to collect stormwater and groundwater. 
It would also create an income tax deduction for flood insurance premiums and increase borrowing authority for a state program that funds local conservation activities. However, the bills will likely go nowhere. Assembly Republicans adjourned their two-year session last month and aren't expected back for a while. The Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction says 9 out of 10 students in the class of 2019 completed high school within four years, continuing an upward trend. The Education Department reported the state's graduation rate has increased 1.6% over the past five years. The 90% rate in 2019 is also up from 89.6% in 2018. The stats show that there were also improvements among smaller subgroups of students, including blacks, Hispanics, and those learning how to speak English. State Superintendent Carolyn Stanford Taylor calls it a positive trend and attributed it to the tireless work and dedication of our teachers and students. In related news, the Osceola School Depart District in Polk County was closed yesterday. District officials say an individual, not necessarily a student, attended an event at the high school over the weekend and has since been confirmed to have coronavirus. According to the district, the risk to others is low, but they closed the school yesterday to give it a deep cleaning. The district is working with Polk County and Wisconsin State Health officials figure, figuring out how to move forward. And Wisconsin health officials are urging residents to avoid non-essential travel to areas where the new coronavirus is known to be widespread. This is following the confirmation that a third person did test positive for COVID-19 in the state. The warning on Tuesday came as schools and universities head into spring break session. The first person who tested positive for the virus lives in Dane County and contracted it in China after traveling there in late January. The second and third who tested positive, as we mentioned before in the show, are from Pierce and Dane counties. Both had traveled to areas in the United States where the virus is more widespread. The coronavirus is not just a potential health threat, it's also playing havoc with your lifestyle. Many adjustments, some minor, some major, are now being taken because of the disease. John Lawrence has our report. The U.S. has just topped 1,000 cases of the coronavirus, and while that's still a relatively small number, it can be argued nearly everyone is affected by it. This is new and unprecedented, certainly uh, in terms of the impact on our economy, uh, as well as just how quickly this virus is spreading and how little we know about it. The number of confirmed cases globally rises daily and there's a ripple effect. Delta Airlines has expanded cleaning procedures, so has Target. It's increasing payroll hours in order to have more time spent cleaning its stores. Ben and Jerry's annual free cone day is being pushed back. Festivals and large-scale events like Coachella are canceled or postponed. Some businesses, including Google, are asking employees to work from home, and some tourists overseas are finding themselves in virtual ghost towns. All the squares and that the, the restaurants, it's just absolutely deserted. Nobody around. They're, I feel for them. I feel that the Italians are really, really struggling. While here at home, the White House is trying to promote a sense of calm. We're prepared and we're doing a great job with it and it will go away. Health officials admit it'll take time to get a better hold of the disease. There's not enough people. There's not enough internal capacity. There's no surge capacity. I'm John Lawrence reporting. The coronavirus worldwide death toll is around 4,300. And coming up, we will have more on COVID-19 in international news, including an update on a hotel in China used to treat people with coronavirus suddenly collapsing. Plus, an Australian hospital opened a drive through coronavirus testing clinic. We'll have those stories and more news from around the world when we come back. Home's tax relief sale is going on now. When you spend $9.99, get an extra 7% off sale prices. This modern glass top table and four chairs, just $9.29 after tax relief savings. Plus, get 12 months interest-free financing and free shipping. Tax relief savings now at Home Furniture. Rhinelander Chrysler Jeep Ram. A great selection and great employees equal the greatest experience. 3620 North Highway 47, Rhinelander, Wisconsin. 
The Boys and Girls Club of Langley County is excited to host our second annual Cabin Fever fundraiser on Friday, March 27th at North Central Sales on Highway 52 in Annawa. Presented by Energy Media, the Anago Daily Journal, and WJFW TV 12, Cabin Fever will include hors d'oeuvres, spirits, and microbrew tasting, and will feature live music by the Eric Vestal Band. Raffles as well as silent and live auction items will be a part of the fun. The evening is set to be a log-splitting good time. New this year, the live auction will be simulcast online. For more info and to purchase tickets, go to bgclang.org. Tune in as Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller leads the WJFW Weather Watch team to bring you the most up-to-the-minute weather data. Utilizing industry-leading technology, WJFW's award-winning weather team has you covered so you can stay on top of the ever-changing systems in the Northwoods. Join the team during the broadcast on WJFW or streaming on Hulu Live, PlayStation View, and the NBC app. At WJFW, our News Watch 12 News team works around the clock to bring you the news that matters most of all to the North Woods. Our team is committed to the community and ensuring that you are as informed as possible. NBC News Watch 12, news from where you live. Now at Home Sleep Express, get up to $300 in home merchandise when you purchase a Tempur-Pedic or iComfort mattress. Plus, no interest financing for four years and free delivery, setup, and a 120-day comfort guarantee. Tempur-Pedic and iComfort at Home Sleep Express. And welcome back. We're seeing snow continuing to fall across parts of Plover this morning. Yesterday, you could see the grass not so much today. You can see the light right here. The snow still continuing to fall. That will be the case over the next few hours. Temperatures are near freezing this morning, upper 20s to lower 30s. Still a few areas of snow being reported in Anago, Iron Mountain, and Wausau, too. And, of course, Plover, as you saw on the Skycam. Temperatures are still going to be above average today. And for the last several days, as, as it looks like, we've had plenty of temperature days that have been near to pretty much above average. Supposed to be at 34 degrees for this time of the year. We're going to be in the 40s today and tomorrow before a change is in store. And here is that change right now in the lower 40s today and tomorrow. Down to 31 degrees on Friday, which is below average for this time for, for a change. And then 33 degrees on Saturday, which is closer. Then we start kind of warming things back up close to 40 degrees by early next week. Now the snow is moving on out of here in a west-east direction, so you might still see a few flurries this morning. Uh, areas like Plover and areas in Portage County still seeing some snow this morning that will be getting out of here soon. Here's where all the snow is now is in parts of Michigan and Lake Michigan, and it's tracking to the east and looks what's right behind it pretty much as clouds. That's currently what's left from that and zooming things out a little bit. Uh, this, else, this system has a little bit of a, of a severe side to it a little bit. We're in a snow area down in Missouri and Kansas and even in parts of Oklahoma. They're seeing severe thunderstorm warnings this morning because of some very strong storms. Fortunately for us, we don't have to worry about that. This boundary is moving on to the east and it's pretty busy off to the south. There's a lot of frontal systems to the south. Areas to the north too seeing some action. Otherwise for us, it's currently about it. Here is your future cast. The leftover part of the snow will be getting out of here and the clouds sticking around all day long. You might get lucky and see the sun from time to time, but it's going to be about it. We'll see the clouds thinning out for a little while during the evening hours on Wednesday. With Thursday, we'll start seeing them move back in and maybe see a little bit of wind for a little bit too before rain moves in Thursday morning. Could change over to snow for a brief bit too, but then the winds really swing out of the northwest. Look how stacked the isobars here, are here, and that will mean, of course, some windy conditions. And so that might blow a little bit of any leftover snow around. So any additional snow left will not be much at all. But after that, could see about an inch for our northern counties. We'll talk about that later on in the show. Your forecast for today, 42 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. Winds way out of the southwest at 5 miles per hour. 32 degrees tonight, rain and snow, minimal accumulations. Winds will be out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here is a look at your Northwest Furniture seven-day forecast. The rain chances on Thursday, cooling off by Friday. Looking ahead towards St. Patrick's Day, cloudy with a slight chance of rain and snow. Highs in the upper 30s. Thanks, Devin. A 10-year-old boy and his mother were rescued 52 hours after being trapped under a collapsed building in a southern Chinese city. And this tops our international news this morning. Rescuers pulled out the boy and his mother from the debris of the hotel, which collapsed on Saturday. The hotel was used as a medical observation spot for people traveling from regions hit by the new virus epidemic. Authorities said the rescuers pulled them out after three hours of effort. 
The death toll from the collapse has risen to 11 by Monday afternoon, but 50 people have so far been pulled out of the debris. An Australian hospital opened a drive through coronavirus testing clinic on Tuesday to help stem the spread of the virus. Patients see a general practitioner before having their samples collected at the drive through at the repatriation hospital. The coronavirus has killed nearly 4,000 people across the globe with three deaths in Australia. The total number of cases in Australia rose overnight from 80 to 100 with the most populous state of New South Wales reporting an additional seven cases, taking its tally to 54. The Vatican has closed St. Peter's Square to tourists because of the coronavirus outbreak. The square nearly was deserted Tuesday after the Vatican put up barriers at the entrance. Tourist and guided tour groups are banned, but individual Catholic faithful can enter the basilica to pray. Amateur video shot inside the Basilica Tuesday showed an empty cathedral. The Vatican said in a statement that it would be also be closing its post office in the square, as well as its bookstore and photo service. Restrictions will last until April 3rd, and the Vatican, a city-state in the heart of Rome, is respecting a new Italy-wide lockdown that restricts travel and large gatherings. One person inside the Vatican City has tested positive, and five people who came into contact with that person are under precautionary quarantine. That's now 514, and we will have more on coronavirus in our medical news, including how blood donation organizations are being affected by fears of the virus. We'll have more. Plus, one lab in Georgia is working to develop a vaccine for coronavirus. We'll have those stories and more health news in just two minutes. It's here. Instant funding online from speedycash.com. Apply for a loan using the Speedy Cash app. If approved, funds apply to your debit card in minutes. Get instant funding from speedycash.com. A house built with proper insulation, no air leakages, no thermal bridges, triple pane windows, heat recovery ventilation, and oriented so the sun heats the house in the winter and shade is provided in the summer. In most cases, a passive house can be heated with the equivalent of a blow dryer. A passive house can save you 90% on heating costs and reduce your carbon footprint by up to 80%. This saves you a lot of money on your heating bill and helps preserve the environment. Great Lakes Carpentry, building today for a greener tomorrow. Hi, I'm Linda, and I am here because of severe chronic back pain. I have been seeing doctors after doctors. I've had back surgery, and I had had enough, so I went to Dr. Cher. I am relieved. I am happy. My family and my husband are very happy that I had this done. Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high-intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. The new boss from Taco John's doesn't take any guff from your hunger. It's large and in charge. With over a pound of cilantro lime rice, black beans, and your choice of chicken, seasoned to perfection beef, or kick it up a notch with hand-cut sirloin steak. Go for the burrito or make it a bowl. And show hunger who's boss. The boss. Taco John's. Bigger. Bolder. Better. It's here. Instant funding online from speedycash.com. Apply for a loan using the Speedy Cash app. If approved, funds apply to your debit card in minutes. Get instant funding from speedycash.com. And welcome back. The snow is moving out of here this morning. A few of our southern counties are seeing the snow now. The most of it is in parts of Michigan. We do have a nice day in store with mostly cloudy skies and highs in the low 40s.
Sounds pretty nice there. Thanks so much, Devin. Well, many doctors believe the medical profession is unprepared to meet the rising demand for Alzheimer's care. This tops our medical news this morning. That's according to a new report from the Alzheimer's Association. 82% of primary care physicians say that they are on the front lines of providing dementia and Alzheimer's care, but over a third admit they are never or only sometimes comfortable making a diagnosis. The report also reveals a drastic shortage of geriatric specialists in many states. The number of Americans living with Alzheimer's disease is expected to nearly triple by 2050. New research reveals non-citizens in the U.S. are undertreated for heart attack and stroke risk factors. The University of Illinois Chicago study looked at the healthcare data from 17,000 adults over the age of 20. It showed immigrants had much lower treatment rates for high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and diabetes than American-born and foreign-born citizens. The gap is mostly due to a lack of insurance and regular place of care. As fears of the coronavirus rise, blood donation organizations are asking everyone not to be worried about the coronavirus when it comes to giving blood. The Blood Connection and the Red Cross say fears about the coronavirus have led to lower rates of blood donations. The Red Cross says that they've already dropped in numbers because of people getting the flu, but fears of the virus make even fewer donors come through. That could lead to blood shortages, dangerous for those in the hospital or with serious conditions who rely on those donations. The Red Cross says that there is no evidence that the coronavirus can be given to others through a blood transfusion. And Georgia is a part of the race to develop a coronavirus vaccine. Biotechnology company GeoVax currently has a list of vaccines for other viruses that are ready to be tested or are being tested now. And some of those vaccines target viruses similar to a coronavirus, which could speed up this process. And also having a partner who has existing relationships with Chinese health officials doesn't hurt either. Joe Henke has our report. I'm preparing the cells. Inside GeoVax so lab, scientists like Arben Domi infect cells with a virus they are studying and then use their findings as they develop vaccines. They use an approach called NVAVLP that the company's CEO says is efficient in creating a vaccine to be tested and also effective as it often makes a vaccine that is a single dose instead of multiple doses or needing booster shots. Generally, they can create the basis for a vaccine within three months and then begin animal testing. Going beyond that in the clinical is really a function of what regulatory authorities determine is the appropriate protocol to follow. And depending on that, that will determine how soon you have something that may be a candidate to go to humans. GeoVax currently has preventive vaccines for HIV, Ebola, Zika, and other viruses either already in or entering clinical trials. Mary Hauser says with the coronavirus, time is of the essence, but they can use research from their past work. Uh, this virus is very similar to SARS, and we can build upon the foundation of literature that exists um, pertaining to development of a SARS vaccine and apply it toward a new vaccine for this particular outbreak. Working alongside GeoVax is BravoVax, a Wuhan, China-based vaccine developer located in the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak. The two have entered an agreement to develop a vaccine for coronavirus in partnership. They have very strong relationships within the Chinese CDC and the Chinese regulatory public health authorities and all. And we have such here in the U.S. on so working together, we think we can move much quicker along with the other entities we brought into this initiative all to try and get a product that's a candidate for testing. Now, scientists say that the timeline for when a vaccine could be ready is at least several months or possibly more than a year. The largest unknown is how long it will take to receive government approval to use a vaccine on humans. We'll certainly be talking about this for many, many weeks and possibly months in the future. I know. I feel like more yeah. and more questions just keep forming because we just see it expanding so quickly and right. so fast. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up next, the coronavirus is even affecting the sports world, including how media access in locker rooms for multiple multiple sports is now being limited. We'll have those details. Plus, Brewers MVP Christian Yelich's new contract means he'll be paid for many, many years. We'll explain. We have those stories in sports coming up after the break. I think RBA is doing an excellent job of preparing the kids for college. My daughter, who's a junior, is going to start college classes, and she could graduate with almost a full associate's degree. 
I think the one thing that people should know about RVA is how well-rounded it is with all the extra things that they can do, not only through school, but through student council and National Honor Society. The teachers are the best, and the students in RVA are really helpful. I think it's a great program. Imagine a clinic with a passion for putting patients first. The Lackview Desire Health Center has extended their medical home from Waters Meet, Michigan to Eagle River, Wisconsin. Lackview Desire Health Center's team care approach and patient-centered care assures that all of your needs as a patient and partner in care are met. Open to the public with no appointments necessary, with lab, x-ray, and scheduled primary care services. Convenience finally meets quality and comfort of care. Schedule an appointment with one of our hometown providers today. Fishing for the best deal on a new Alumacraft boat? Then get to American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. Upgrade to your dream fishing boat with the lowest prices on Alumacraft's guaranteed, starting as low as $109 a month. Pick from hundreds of boats in stock at the largest showroom in the USA. We'll beat any boat price by 500 bucks and trade in your old boat for even more savings. Book the best deal on Alumacraft boats at American Marine and Motorsports Shawano. Come to Dave Marston Motors today for our net net sale and save big on all used cars and trucks. Get a 2017 Ford Escape SC 4x4 with factory warranty for only $15.9. Or how about a Ford quality certified 2016 F-150 Crew Cab 4x4 for a low $27.9. Net net savings will get you a 2018 Ford Focus Titanium for only $14.9. Come see us at Dave Marston Motors of Knockville for our net net sale. You'll be glad you did. More sampling than ever before at the Tomahawk Chamber of Commerce 17th Annual Taste of Tomahawk event, Saturday, March 21st at the Anshala Country Club from 1 to 4.30 p.m. Over 25 breweries, wineries, and restaurants will offer beer, wine, and food samples from some of the finest establishments in the state. Music by Strip T Band and Jeff Calhoun. This year's theme is black and white. Wear your most creative black and white attire for a chance to win a prize. Get your tickets now for the 17th Annual Taste of Tomahawk. Welcome back. Well, Major League Baseball, the NHL, NBA, and Major League Soccer released a joint statement this week announcing that they are temporarily banning locker room access to the media over coronavirus fears. According to the press release, officials from the pro sports organizations made that decision after consulting with infectious disease and public health experts. The statement also says members of the media will have access to players and coaches in designated locations outside of the locker rooms and clubhouses. However, players must remain at least six feet from reporters. This applies to both games and practices. The National Football League, currently in its offseason, has not made a decision on locker room access yet. Members of the Associated Press Sports Editors, a group of sports writers, also released a joint statement saying that while they must take precautions to avoid the spread of coronavirus, they warned against unnecessary limited access in either the short or long term. The Milwaukee Brewers will be paying Christian Yelich until 2042 when the All-Star outfielder is 50 years old. Yelich's new nine-year contract with the team calls for the Brewers to defer $4 million each year from his $26 million annual salary from 2022 to 2028. Yelich's new deal includes four salaries of $12.5 million this year and $14 million in 2021. So he is certainly going to be sitting pretty, uh, but it's interesting that he's yeah. doing a deal similar to Bobby Bonilla that right. everybody talks about every year that Bobby Bonilla Day keeps coming <laughs> up, and he's still being paid years and years later after you know being retired. And so. honestly, that sounds pretty great to me. You know, I'd love to know that I'd be making money until I was 50 years old, and be you fit. know you have that kind of money coming in every year. Very smart. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But that's outside this morning, Devin. You have your jacket on again this morning, so I want to know if it's still as chilly as it was yesterday morning. Yeah, sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you this morning, but what I can tell you is that the snow is falling a little bit this morning, mixing with a little bit of grapple a little bit, which is a little bit of soft hail, so to say, which is the next step with a little bit of melted snow. But a live look right now in Rhinelander at the airport, you can see a little bit of the snow on the ground. Um, temperatures right now are at 30 degrees. The winds are calm, no problem at all. So dew points are close to that 20 degrees. So the air pretty moist out there this morning. Your radar, your current temperatures, excuse me, 30 degrees in Rhinelander. Wausau at 32.
22 degrees. We're seeing some snow currently at the moment. Here is a look at your radar and satellite. We're seeing some snow across parts of Michigan and parts of eastern Wisconsin, including the southern parts of our viewing area. And of course, here in Rhinelander, too. Areas to the south are seeing some thunderstorms across parts of Missouri and, of course, in Kansas. Your travel forecast here on this Wednesday. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 40s under mostly cloudy skies. A little cooler farther to the east under mostly cloudy skies with lower 40s for the high temperatures. We'll see some of that leftover snow as you head farther to the south, upper 40s, see even some lower 50s with some precipitation in the forecast. We'll have more news and weather coming up after the break. Look at what just $10 a month will get you when you spend $5.99. A classy bedroom set, all four pieces, only $10 a month. Five-year financing on purchases of just $5.99 or more. And get free shipping with no minimum, only at Slumberland Furniture. It's the event you've been waiting for all winter long. The 25th Annual Open House at Shoulders RV and Marine in Rhinelander. Come on down and see what's new with acres of boats and RVs, as well as docks and lifts. And at great sale prices. Talk to factory reps from some of the best lines in the industry, like Ranger and Misty Harbor. Don't miss your chance to get ready for the summer. And save big during the 25th Annual Open House. Play your way. Dine your way. Stay your way. Ho Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Win your way. It's severe weather season across northern Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Ken Kortenoff, the Oneida County Emergency Management Director. And I'm Newswatch 12's Jeff Weller. Register today for a severe weather training class to learn all about severe weather. This year's class is Tuesday, March 17th at the Oneida County Law Enforcement Center. There's no charge for the class, but registration is greatly appreciated. Look at what just $10 a month will get you when you spend $5.99. A classy bedroom set, all four pieces, only $10 a month. Five-year financing on purchases of just $5.99 or more. And get free shipping with no minimum, only at Slumberland Furniture. You're watching News Watch 12 Today with Marissa Silvas, Angela Kim, and Tyler Moore. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us today. It is Wednesday, March 11th. Well, the path to the Democratic nomination is a little clearer. As former Vice President Joe Biden is projected to pull off a crushing win in Michigan on Super Tuesday, too. Mary Maloney has more. Joe Biden building on his Super Tuesday dominance, winning Mississippi, Missouri, and the big prize of the night, Michigan. Just over a week ago, Many of the pundits declared that uh, this candidacy was dead. Now we're very much alive. Michigan is a key Midwestern swing state. President Trump won in 2016. Then in 2018, a blue wave swept over the state. Now it's considered to be a bellwether of where blue collar white and African American voters lean. We are solidly purple and that's why no one should ever take Michigan for granted. The Great Lakes state helping the former vice president pad his delegate lead while making the case he is the candidate to beat. This campaign is taking off and I believe we're going to do well from this point on. The results a blow to Bernie Sanders, who won Michigan's primary four years ago and hoped to kick off a comeback. We need to win every state in the country. But the coronavirus crisis threatened to upstage Super Tuesday Part 2. Election workers sorted ballots wearing gloves, and both candidates canceled their planned rallies with supporters. The last thing in the world we will ever want to do is put anybody in danger. As the novel coronavirus impacts the United States, both campaigns are taking action and say they can lead in times of crisis as commander in chief. This whole coronavirus issue is a matter of presidential leadership. But now Sanders is also trying to prove to the public his campaign has a future. In Washington, I'm Mary Maloney. Now in all, voters in six states participated in this second Super Tuesday. Mississippi, Missouri, North Dakota, 
Michigan, Idaho, and Washington. And it's just coming in this morning that Joe Biden has also won the state of Idaho. But we'll also still have more results as they do come in because this will be a developing story all day. Certainly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But outside this morning, it was really strange to see snow in my car. I know. I know my <laughs> dog was confused walking out because yesterday, yeah, there was uh, so much melted and, and now we have a little bit this morning. Absolutely. But the temperature is still pretty mild out there. Not so for more on that, let's head over to our weather center with Devin Biggs filling in for Tyler Moore. And Devin, will we, we be seeing any more snow for the rest of the day. Yeah, maybe a few flurries coming up this morning. We saw a little bit outside a little while ago. That will be the overall theme, but we'll be tapering off soon. One place that's still seeing some snow this morning is Plover, and our sky camp shows that pretty nicely, especially below closer to the, to the sky through the uh, street light there as the snow continues to fall this morning. The roads looking good. The grassy areas, well, they're pretty much covered up this morning. Here's a look at the radar. The snow, we're on, we are on the back edge of this as it moves off to the east. Green Bay seeing the best of this snow right now. As it moves on to the east, most of it's also in Michigan. So we're almost done with this. It'll mainly be clouds, perhaps a little bit of sunshine too that could be peeking out. Temperature is definitely warmer than yesterday. We're in the low 30s this morning and a few upper 20s too. Here is your out the door forecast coming up this morning. Temperatures not looking half that bad. We'll be at around the lower 40s again under partly the mostly cloudy skies and that snow that will be tapering off soon. Your full forecast is coming up. Right under City Administrator Daniel Gill is now out on bail after making his first appearance in Oneida County Court yesterday afternoon. He was arrested on Monday. Guild was formally charged with misconduct in public office, which is a class one felony and can be punishable up to three and a half years in prison. This comes after being arrested Monday morning on Highway 8 West in Oneida County by the Oneida County Sheriff's Office. Investigators began looking into Guild in the spring of last year. And according to Oneida County Ch Chief Deputy Dan Hess, Guild's arrest is in connection to an open records request complaint from the Northwoods River News. It was after a reporter fled, uh, filed a records request for all written disciplinary records and documentation involving any investigation regarding former Public Works Director Tim Kingman. Guild has served as Rhinelander City Administrator since September of 2018. He resigned as Village of Weston Administrator in July 2018 following an unpaid 30-day suspension due to a breach in his employment contract. Judge Patrick O'Melia set a $5,000 signature bond for Daniel Guild and he will appear in court again on March 30th. On Friday, the City Council will hold a special session to discuss potential action regarding Guild's contract. State leaders met in Stevens Point on Tuesday to discuss their efforts combating climate change in Wisconsin. That gathering is the second one of its kind this year for Governor Evers' task force targeting that issue. Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes hosted the meeting at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. Task force members representing various industries shared climate change policy recommendations with Barnes. Final policy recommendations will go to Governor Evers late in August. The lieutenant governor used the gathering to promote a new flood prevention package proposed by the Evers administration. But I do look forward to the legislature uh, taking up these common sense smart investments so that communities can have the resources to respond to the more frequent and unfortunately severe flooding associated with the changing climate here in the state of Wisconsin. The bill may not go far in Madison. Assembly Republicans adjourned their two-year session in February, and lawmakers are not expected to return to work until January of 2021. The West Allis West Milwaukee School District thought it would thought it was making $843,000 payments to the general contractor that's building its new recreation and community center. As police have learned, the district was duped, duped into sending that money to a scammer. Just last year, a church in Port Washington fell victim to the same scam. Ben Jordan from our sister station in Milwaukee has our story. Well, the kids lose out in the end. Parents like Jerry Cole in the West Allis West Milwaukee School District are frustrated after finding out hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars are now in the hands of criminals. It's sad to say that, you know, somebody has to stoop that low and just outright steal money. The school district says an online payment last October was intended to go to C.G. Schmidt, the general contractor that's building this new facility. 
West Dallas police said in a statement on their Facebook page that the payment was intercepted by criminals and now the FBI is involved. We believe the money was ultimately transferred overseas. Just one year ago, St. John the 23rd Catholic Church in Port Washington fell victim to the same crime while building a new elementary school. Kind of shocked that the same sort of thing could happen not far from, from us and in almost the identical fashion that it had happened to us. Pastoral coordinator Bill Hankey says a scammer sent an email claiming to be C.G. Schmidt's chief financial officer to get the church to pay more than half a million dollars. So we got the wire instructions from presumably C.G. Schmidt, wired the $510,000 thinking it was going to them to pay for this bill and in fact it landed at this bank down in Texas. Hankey says law enforcement recovered some of the funds and insurance covered the rest. Cole is optimistic his son's school district will be able to do the same. Anything is better than nothing. Now the West Ellis West Milwaukee School District just says this issue isn't expected to impact construction on their project. The district has hired local attorneys to try to recover these stolen funds. Well, it's now 538 and coming up this morning in our consumer news, a new study shows that your mortgage may affect your ability to save. We'll explain. Plus, COVID-19 is causing a mask shortage across the country. We'll have those stories and more news you can use in just a bit. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Ag Country Farm Credit Services. Tax relief sale is going on now. When you spend $9.99, get an extra 7% off sale prices. This modern glass top table and four chairs, just $9.29 after tax relief savings. Plus, get 12 months interest-free financing and free shipping. Tax relief savings now at Home Furniture. An education can take you many places. It can take you to a world of new possibility, of new learning, experience, and achievement. An education can transcend culture, and take you to where ideas come to life. Where you learn how to nurture and care. Every education needs a beginning. Start yours here. Nicolay College works for you. You have found your soulmate. Now it's time to find the perfect ring. At Golden Carrot Jewelers, you can choose from an extensive selection of engagement and wedding rings. Fresh designs reflecting the most current trends. From organic, art deco, and vintage design to timeless classics in white, yellow, and rose gold. See the new Romance Collection, Lyria and Lumiere Bridal Collections, and new styles from Gabriel New York, S. Kashi, and more. Engagements begin here. Will yours? Golden Carrot Jewelers, downtown Manaqua. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Home Seasonal Concepts is now open with the largest selection of outdoor furniture on sale. Spend $9.99 and get an extra 7% tax relief on patio sets, wicker, and fire tables, plus free custom ordered fabric upgrades, 12 month financing, and free shipping. Now at Home Seasonal Concepts. And welcome back. We're still seeing some snow falling across parts of the North Woods this morning, and mainly a few flurries for our northern counties, but farther to the south in areas like Plover, see just a little bit still falling across parts of the street light there. Otherwise, you can see snow is covering the ground again. You did not see that yesterday, but we are seeing it again this morning. Temperature is much warmer than yesterday, lower 30s. And even, and even a few upper 20s being reported across the region this morning. That is warmer than at this time yesterday, around cl roughly close to 10 degrees warmer than what we were at yesterday. So a lot better than the 19 degrees that we woke up to in a few spots. Temperatures will be warming up again into the lower 40s again Wednesday and Thursday. Today and tomorrow will be in the lower 40s and cooling down below average for a change into the lower 30s by Friday. Warming things back up again to the upper 30s by Sunday, then 40 degrees by Monday, then upper 30s again 
by Tuesday. So here's what's left of the snow. We are on the back edge of this, so a few flurries will still be possible throughout the morning. But as this moves off to the east, we will be done with this system and clouds will be the only thing that will still be hanging around. Maybe a little bit of sunshine peeking out from time to time too, as the clouds may provide a few breaks from time to time. So the system is not just us. We're in the snowy parts of it. But areas like Missouri and then parts of uh, Kansas and Oklahoma too. They're seeing some severe weather this morning too from the uh, from the stormy side of this little wave that's moving through. But that's currently about it. It's going to be moving on to the east and we'll be leaving us alone. And here's more systems off to the south here and another system off towards the south and west and another wave up to the north. So things still looking pretty busy and it's going to be giving us some more precipitation coming up by Thursday. Here is your future cast with the snow currently moving through. We'll be done with that. Clouds will be sticking around throughout the day today. Might see the sun from time to time if you're lucky. So clouds make, will break up for a little while tonight into the early morning hours on Thursday before clouds move on in again. Then we'll see some rain chances possible throughout the day on Thursday, changing over to a little bit of snow. Winds swing out of the northwest and it could get gusty from time to time too. So we'll need to make sure to keep an eye on that. Winds will be gusty on Friday. Make sure to keep that in mind. So how much additional snow could we see? Pretty much a dusting at best from anything between now and Thursday. But then as the next system, as that changeover to snow could happen by Thursday evening, you know, maybe around an inch at best for areas like Phillips and Arbor Vida and Lando Lakes as that quick wave moves through and could see a little bit of a change over there. Otherwise, it's not looking like too much at all. Your forecast coming up for today, lower 40s and with a pretty much partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. Could see a little bit of some snow left over as you head farther to the south will be a little bit warmer with 46 degrees in Adams County with some leftover snow too as it moves on out of here. Tonight though 32 degrees, a different round of rain and snow will be possible. Minimal accumulations winds will be out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Looking ahead towards Thursday, rain chances will be possible. Temperatures a little bit warmer, middle to upper 40s and even a few lower 50s too. Of course, a little cooler to the north. Highs will be in the lower 40s with rain chances and the forecast. Here is your Northwoods Furniture seven day forecast. Again, Thursday we have those rain chances. Friday cooling off, mostly cloudy skies. Highs in the lower 30s. Weekend looking a little cooler, mostly cloudy skies. Highs in the low 30s Saturday and then upper 30s on Sunday. Thanks, Devin. More than three quarters of mortgage holders say that the size of their mortgage impacts their ability to save. And that tops our look at consumer news. Bankrate.com is out with the survey all new this Wednesday, this Wednesday morning. And among those, 31% say their mortgage has a major negative impact on their ability to save for the future. And nearly 40% of those surveyed say they have more equity in their home than in their retirement accounts. Experts say homeowners can look at refinancing at a lower rate to shave their monthly payments and open an avenue to increased savings. March Madness is just around the corner, and if you can't get to the games in person, Samsung is touting its new line of 2020 QLED TV sets. Samsung says that the sets are available in 4K and 8K and spanning up to 85 inches, you're going to feel just like your courtside. If you're after incredible deals, you can save up to 45% on Samsung's 2019 QLED 4K TVs right now, too. The NCAA tourney will start next week. And Walmart announces an emergency employee leave program after confirming an employee tested positive for coronavirus. The infected employee is a woman who works at a retailer's location in Cynthiana, Cynthiana, Kentucky. And if an individual associate becomes ill with a confirmed case of the coronavirus, the associate will receive two weeks pay. If the associate is unable to return to work after those two weeks, additional pay replacement may be available up to 26 weeks for both full and part-time hourly workers. Walmart is the nation's largest private employer with 1.5 million workers in the U.S. And as the number of coronavirus cases continue to go up worldwide, protective respirator masks are increasingly harder to find. CNBC's Seema Modi takes a look at an American company struggling to keep up with the increased demand. Fast-tracking production of the N95 respirator is no easy task. 3M, ramping up hiring, hosting job fairs, and making offers on the spot. Here in Aberdeen, South Dakota, at one of its largest manufacturing facilities, 3M has added robots to its assembly line, all in an effort to meet the surge in demand for its face masks. We immediately ramped up production in this facility. 
Uh, we have capacity to do that, and we've done that immediately. Really from more of a standard five-day week to, to more of a seven-day week, uh, with additional equipment as well that we've been able to bring in and turn on. The most popular mask is the N95 respirator, which has quickly become the symbol of the fight against the coronavirus. From the streets of Beijing, soccer games in Japan, to Milan's Fashion Week, healthcare workers and citizens around the world are using the mask to reduce the risk of infection. According to the CDC, the respirator filters 95% of airborne particles. But with demand so high, it's increasingly difficult to find or order one on e-commerce sites like Amazon. And 60% of large-scale pharmacies have essentially run out, according to the HHS. We're seeing outbreaks develop in new countries every day, but even the countries where there isn't a widespread outbreak are working really hard to prepare right now in case they do have that situation. As the risk of a U.S. outbreak rises, workers here in Aberdeen are determined to produce as many respirators as possible. We know what we have to do. Um, we know we need to keep our numbers up. We know we need to keep ourselves safe, and we need to put out great quality, and that's what we come here to do. Now, it is important to note that health experts are not recommending that everyone use a protective mask in public. The World Health Organization says that there is no need to wear a mask if you're healthy unless you're taking care of a patient with coronavirus symptoms. The WHO does recommend that you use a mask if you're coughing or sneezing. But right now, uh, we are fortunately not confronting that in this part of the state. As the coronavirus numbers across the country continue to climb, local hospitals are preparing in case it comes to our area. Coming up at 6, we'll have more on Aspire's Wausau's plan and why they say you shouldn't worry or panic about the virus. What a game. All the cheddar, please. When you're hot, you're hot. Sounds like fun. I like that. Jeopardy! Weekdays at 4.30 on NBC12. Fishing for the best deal on a new boat and motor? Then get to American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. Pick from hundreds of boats and pontoons in stock at the largest showroom in the USA. Then increase your power with a Honda motor on your new dream boat. We'll beat any boat price by 500 bucks and trade in your old boat and motor for even more savings. Book the best deal on new boats and Honda motors at American Marine and Motorsports. Shawno. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Scher, DC with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair, so don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, it can truly change your life. Start living your life pain-free. Call today. Come to Dave Marston Motors today for a net net sale and save on all remaining 2019 Ford trucks. Get a 2019 F-150 Crew STX 4x4 for $11,121 off or lease a 2019 F-150 Super Cab STX 4x4 for 24 months for only $289 per month. Net net savings will get you $4,000 off a 2019 Ford Ranger Super Cab STX 4x4. Come see us at Dave Marston Motors in Monaco for a net net sale. You'll be glad you did. Hey, let's check out this park. Oh, wow, that's really cool. To find a great local park or forest near you, go to discovertheforest.org. Welcome back. Most family-owned farms, they get passed down from generation to generation. But if you want to get into dairy farming with no family history, where do you start? News of Charles Morgan Johnson has our report. Matthew Kiesling retired from the Army in 2017. He hoped to translate from active duty to agriculture. 
but wanted to do it on a farm. And I didn't want to sit in the classroom anymore, so I started looking at hands-on programs. Kiesling found out about the Dairy Grazing Apprenticeship Program, where he could learn from experienced dairy farmers. Burr's family farm in Deerbrook is one of the 180 farms in the program. Owner Andy Burrs has had many apprentices over the years. A veteran himself, Burrs was more than willing to teach Kiesling at his farm. A pathway to get people from learning how to farm and being able to own a farm and how do we get, make that happen, especially for people that don't grow up on farms. People exactly like Kiesling. The hands-on experience, it was a path to farm ownership. This is, this is the only one that was available in the nation for me to go from no agricultural experience to owning a family farm. For the past three years, he's completed the 4,000 hours of on-the-job training and additional farming instruction. And in July, Kiesling will buy the farm. Even though he's not part of the family, Kiesling is proud to carry on the Burrs family farm tradition. This farm was nice uh, due to the fact that I, it matched my philosophy of a family farm. That was Morgan Johnson reporting, and obviously dairy is such a huge industry across our whole state. It really is. You see so many farms everywhere you go, and just a product of dairy farms as well. So mm -hmm. it's a really big part of Wisconsin. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, outdoors this morning, uh, we keep seeing on the weather deck uh, more and more melting, Devin. There really isn't right. a lot of snow left behind you, but we did get a teeny bit overnight bit of snow today. We did get a teeny bit of snow today on top of the still a good amount of snow that's still right behind me. We will be melting more snow today and tomorrow. Then we're going to be pausing coming up on Friday. But right now at the Rhinelander Airport, it's still 30 degrees. Winds are shifting out of the southeast snow at five miles per hour, giving us a little bit of a wind chill at around 25 degrees. Now we take a look at our visibility map. You can still kind of see where snow is still pretty much falling in some spots. Walsall and areas to the south seeing three to five miles of visibility. That's some of that leftover snow that's still currently moving through. Here's our latest look at the radar and satellite. The heaviest of the snow is moving off to the east. Meanwhile, though, in parts of Missouri, you can see they're seeing a good amount of storms this morning. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that. We'll just have clouds for the afternoon hours. And speaking of that, here is the travel forecast here for this Wednesday. Again, middle to upper 40s under mostly cloudy skies. And as you track just a little bit further to the east, we'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies and highs in the lower 40s. And then further off to the south, we'll have 40s with more rain and snow chances for areas to the south. We'll have more news and weather coming up after the break. Thursday. You sure you're feeling okay about ending Charles' life? Brooklyn Nine-Nine is the main event. I want to see the big guy pop the little guy's head off. Yeah, let's start the fight. I want to pop that little guy's head off. You're clearly the little guy. <laughs> Good one, Jake. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Thursday on NBC. Hello, family. Look who's coming to NBC Thursday. Hey, guys. What are you doing in my house? And why are you wearing my shower curtain? It's a night you'll never forget. You remember? You remember? You remember? Will and Grace and Indebted, NBC Thursday. Eagle River Roasters, your Northwoods coffee roaster and community coffee house has the freshest specialty coffee and tea in the Northwoods. Our coffee comes from choice Arabica beans, hand blended and roasted on premise for the finest specialty drinks. Fresh bakery, breakfast and lunch served daily, our comfortable coffee house is the perfect place for meeting friends or groups. The drive through is also open daily. Treat yourself with a great cup of coffee or take some beans to brew at home fresh from Eagle River Roasters, your Northwoods coffee roaster and community coffee house. Tell us we can't, and we'll prove you wrong. Knock us down, and we'll get right back up. Call us risk takers, misfits, bad boys. But we know what we want, and it feels like American muscle. Looks like advanced engineering, and smells like fresh cut grass. Bad boy, mow with an attitude. Here's a great way to save money on your credit card bills. If you have three or more credit cards and you're way behind on the payments, we can show you a way to pay as little as 50% and have zero debt in 24 months. Call now and learn how to reduce your credit card bills by 50% and be 100% debt free. We always offer 24-7 help and a free consultation. Call right now. You're watching News Watch 12 Today with Marissa Silvas, Angela Kim, and Tyler Moore. 
And welcome back. The 2020 flood fight in Fargo and Cass County in North Dakota is ramping up big time. Officials say 200 people are needed to help run Sandbag Central efficiently. Right now, volunteers are most needed in the early mornings and evenings. A crew from NBC affiliate KVLY in Fargo joined in the fight by filling sandbags in the mornings. Organizers say operations will continue until the 400,000 sandbag goal is reached. Quite an interesting situation. Well, quite a big goal they have there too, um, but it really is such a serious problem you, know, problem. you know, we've seen flooding all over the country, but especially here in Wisconsin too, even up in our lakes up in the up in the northern area too. Exactly and like you mentioned yesterday it's only going to get worse right we still have a lot more <laughs> melting to go right. um, you know and so I'm sure that people in our area are going to be wanting some sandbags available just in case. Yeah perhaps mainly along the rivers I mean sure. we see this, this time of year where you need to have the sandbags ready live near a river I mean I know area, I know rivers in Wausau have flooded before too sure. I've personally seen it so yeah. it's common just plan ahead is really all you can do. Of course. Absolutely mm -hmm. but how, in our area this morning you know we're not seeing any rain but a bit of snow we saw some snow earlier. Yeah, a little bit of snow earlier, a few bits of snow flurry and grapple or soft hail, so to say, to kind of the next step away from snow a little bit. We're seeing a little bit of that this morning, too. But right now in Eagle River, not so much falling right now. You can see there's a little bit of snow in the parking lot, so they saw a little bit of snow, too. But that's currently about it. The heaviest has moved off to the east. We're si we saw the, the snow part. Otherwise, check out areas to the south. This is the same system causing some storms in parts of Missouri and Oklahoma this morning. Our future cast coming up today. The snow is getting out of here, but the clouds will be hanging around. Then they may break out for a little while during the evening hours before moving in yet again as the new system begins to approach from the north and west. Hourly forecast coming up today. Temperatures will be warming up today nicely into the lower 40s before dropping back again, though, into the 20s. Here is your seven day forecast again. Lower 30s tonight. Rain chances on Thursday. Then we really cool off on Friday, actually below average for a change down to, into the low 30s. Weekend looking good. Just a little cool. Had the coats handy, but St. Patrick's Day not looking too bad. Slight chances of rain and snow in the forecast and highs in the upper 30s. You know, I remember just a couple of months ago when our version of a dip was going down into like the negative temperatures. <laughs> right. But now yeah. Yeah, our dip is just going into like the low 30s, which really sounds Pretty yeah, nice not though. complaining. Really not at all. And, and I've really found that, uh, you know, since living in Wisconsin, I've gotten a little tougher when it comes yeah. to the cold. So now if it's in the 30s, I don't even really need a coat. Just maybe a fleece and I'm good. I wore some shorts yesterday. I felt great. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much, Devin. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, next on Newswatch 12 today, we'll tell you how one local hospital's plan, they have it, and they know what to do if the coronavirus comes to north central Wisconsin. We'll have that story for you. Plus, nurse Christina Paris from the VA will be here in studio to talk about the risk of falling and how people can prevent a fall from causing a serious injury. That's coming up in our next half hour. But first, you're waking up with Newswatch 12 today here on NBC. For the most up-to-the-minute info on your school closings, visit WJFW.com on your computer, your tablet, or your phone. WJFW School Closings, sponsored by Marcel's Fireplace and Stoves and Builders Service Incorporated. Introducing the most capable Sierra lineup ever. Step up to GMC with 0% financing for 72 months on these 2020 Sierra 1500 models. Plus get 500 purchase cash. We are professional grade GMC. At Cracker Barrel, you'll always feel right at home. With favorites like our golden country fried steak, our scratch made buttermilk pancakes, and our signature chicken and dumplings. So come on home to what you love. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. I'm 52, but in my mind, I'm still 25. That's why I take Osteo Biflex to keep me moving the way I was made to. It nourishes and strengthens my joints for the long term. Osteo Biflex, now in triple strength plus magnesium. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Right now, you can get $1,500 customer cash on a new 2020 Toyota Tacoma or get $2,750 customer cash on a new 2020 Toyota Tundra. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. I am IC. For many former servicemen and women with post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury, the battle doesn't always end when they come home. 
American Humane rescues animals needing forever homes and trains them to become free, life-saving service dogs for veterans in need. If you're a veteran or know a veteran struggling, go to AmericanHumane.org to learn about their Pups for Patriots program. Let's give our veterans a fighting chance. Discover what's trending where you live on Up North at 4 with Adriana Michelle and Jeff Weller. Live guests with local stories about what it means to live, work, and play up north. Come and join us. Hi, I'm Jenna with Miracle Ear of Park Falls in Medford. If you are struggling to hear your favorite news and entertainment shows, come and see me for your free hearing test. Right now on Newswatch 12 Today, locally the Aspires Hospital System holds daily meetings to prepare for coronavirus. We'll tell you what reminders they have if you're experiencing any symptoms. Plus, a few leftover snow showers are moving through this morning, but that will be getting out of here. We'll have clouds throughout the rest of the afternoon. Your full forecast is coming up. And the Park Falls man involved in a Craigslist sting operation learned his sentence. Find out how much jail time he'll face. It's Wednesday. March 11th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us today. I'm Angela Kim here with Marissa Silvis. Well, yesterday the Wisconsin Department of Health Services announced a third person in Wisconsin has tested positive for coronavirus. Of the three, two are from the Madison area and one is from Pierce County. Medical professionals in central and northern Wisconsin know that the virus could reach our area any day, but that doesn't mean that you need to panic. Newswatch Watch Dan Hagen has more. Dr. Chad Radke is washing his hands perhaps a bit more vigorously nowadays. He's also been getting a few more phone calls about coronavirus. Common questions that people are asking are if they are at risk uh, because family members, friends have traveled and they've been in contact with them. Radke says it's hard to diagnose over the phone because its symptoms are so similar to influenza or a severe cold. But he'd much rather have phone calls than people coming in. <laughs> For milder symptoms, Radke says, contact your primary care physician. They can set you up with a test if necessary. He recommends people to only come in if they are experiencing shortness of breath, chest pain, or a very high fever. I don't want to be the person who says it's coming to central Wisconsin, but I think the likelihood that it's going to hit many areas in America is very likely. But he says there is no need to panic. I think uh, prepare, not panic, is the, is the best way to proceed. Aspirus Wausau staff reevaluate their coronavirus preparedness plan every day. This includes all staff meetings and talking with local partners. Dr. Radke believes people over 60 should prepare to self-quarantine as well. This is because they are at a higher risk for severe complications from coronavirus. So if it comes to our area, you want to be prepared with food at home, have someone, if you need medications, be able to get them for you, and not uh, venture out into large crowds. And of course, wash your hands. In Wassa, Dan Hagen, Newswatch 12. You know, it's a very good tip at the end. Just remember to wash your hands and also just, you know, don't panic. Just stay clean, stay sanitized. And uh, yeah, it's but it's spreading so quickly. I know. So it's really mm -hmm. nice to know that locally um, officials are taking the necessary precautions so that everyone would be prepared just in case. Absolutely. But locally yeah. also weather wise, it was really strange waking up and seeing snow on my car this morning. I know, but still not too cold out. Not yeah. really bad. The temperatures are pretty mild. Yeah. So for more on that, listen over to our weather center with Devin Biggs filling in for Tyler Moore. And Devin, we have pretty consistently mild temperatures for the rest of the week, right? Yeah, for at least the next day or two before we start cooling things off a little bit, going even below average for a day. But we're still seeing a little bit of snow this morning and parts of Plover is starting to taper off a little bit now too. take a closer look at that at that street light. There may be a little bit of snow still falling, but things are starting to calm down. They saw a decent amount of snow as the grass once again is covered up. Here is a look at, at the latest snow. It's moving off to the east. We're going to be done with the snow soon, mainly just clouds coming out from then on. 
30 degrees right now in Rhinelander, 30 degrees in Medford, a little warmer to the south, 33 degrees in Wisconsin Rapids. Your bus stop forecast coming up today, 29 degrees with some leftover snow flurries, warming up a little bit up into the lower 40s by the afternoon hours, 41 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Hourly forecast coming up today, temperatures warming up very nicely with a mixture of clouds and sun, more clouds than not, with highs in the lower 40s. I will have your full forecast coming up in a little bit. Thanks, Devin. The Park Falls man involved in a Craigslist sting operation was sentenced to prison yesterday morning. William Bronkow was found guilty on the charge of child enticement and was put on five years probation with seven months of conditional prison time. He also was given a deferred entry judgment on a charge of using a computer to facilitate a child sex crime, meaning if he violates his probation, he will serve additional jail time. Probation on probation for a period of five years. And order that you do seven months in the Oneida County Jail will allow you to serve that in Price County. Assistant District Attorney Mary Sawinski says Bronkow's behavior is part of a larger scale problem. Uh, Mr. Bronkow, as with the other defendants uh, who have come before the court for similar, similar behavior, um, is contributing to just a horrendous uh, problem in this country and in this state. As part of his sentence, Brunkow will be required to report to the Oneida County or Price County Prison on or before April 10th at 8 a.m. with a review hearing scheduled for late December. Taking you across the country this half hour, convicted rapist and sex offender Harvey Weinstein is scheduled to be sentenced today. Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein is due in a New York City court this morning where he will be sentenced for rape and sexual assault. He is facing up to 25 years in prison. Weinstein has been in custody since his conviction February 24th and underwent a heart procedure. He will be given an opp opportunity to speak and victims will deliver impact statements. Vice President Mike Pence is set to meet with hospital and health system industry leaders this afternoon. Serving as the Trump administration's coronavirus task force leader, Vice President Pence has led the country's effort against the spread of COVID-19. The meeting is scheduled for 1 o'clock at the White House. According to NBC News, as of late Tuesday night, 30 coronavirus deaths have been reported in the U.S. out of more than 1,000 cases. Well, it's now 6.09 and coming up this morning on Newswatch 12 today with the sheer ice and slippery sidewalks, you may be at risk for falls. Nurse Christina Paris is here in studio to tell us all about the risks of falling and how we can fall safely. Plus, Devin will have his full forecast when we return. Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio has designed beautiful and functional kitchens and baths in the Northwoods. With in-home consultation available, they provide 3D drawings of your spaces to bring your visions to life. Owner and designer Sarah has over 20 years of experience, overseen 500 plus projects, and built strong relationships with local contractors providing superior installation. Whether it's a new home or a remodel, Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio in Eagle River looks forward to making your dream kitchen or bath a reality. Summer is about having fun, not worrying about your old outdated dock. Portadoc's corrosion resistant roll-in or post-dock aluminum dock systems offer durability and longevity, as well as functionality with multiple configurations and decking options. Virtually maintenance-free Portadoc systems will keep you in or on the water all summer long. Visit your local Portadoc dealer and welcome to where the land ends and the summer fun begins. Devorax Docks, Highway 45 in Elko, Tomahawk Sports Center, North 4th Street in Tomahawk. The new boss from Taco John's doesn't take any guff from your hunger. It's large and in charge. With over a pound of cilantro lime rice, black beans, and your choice of chicken, seasoned to perfection beef, or kick it up a notch with hand-cut sirloin steak. Go for the burrito or make it a bowl. And show hunger who's boss. The boss. Taco John's. Bigger. Bolder. Better. Bob's Factory Outlet in Park Falls and Ashland is having a Tax Time Bundle Sale. The $999 seven piece Tax Time Bundle includes a sofa, love seat, or chaise, or recliner, plus a cocktail table and two end tables. Complete the Tax Time Bundle with a set of two lamps. Sleep well after saving on Beauty Rest plus Euro Top Queen Mattress Set, $749 after check. 
Use your $100 check towards a purchase of $4.99 or more. Bob's Factory Outlet Tax Time Bundle Sale ends April 4th. And welcome back. Things are pretty wet in Minocqua this morning. Take a look along the roadway. They saw some snow this morning, too, as the roadway in Minocqua is currently wet. A little bit of traffic going on this morning, too. Temperatures much warmer than at this time yesterday in the lower to middle, uh, more in the lower 30s than anything else. And a few upper 20s, even middle 20s being seen, too. And we'll be switching to more cloud cover than anything else later on. Temperatures will still warm up pretty decently today into the lower 40s, 42 today, 43 tomorrow, down to 31 below average by Friday, and then warming things back up to 40 degrees by Monday. Now the snow is moving off to the east. Here's what's left of the snow across parts of Michigan. Eastern part of the state of Wisconsin still seeing some snow and including some of the flurries that might be hiding a little bit out there. That's currently about it. This boundary stretches from Michigan all the way down towards the, to the central part of the United States a little bit across parts of uh, Missouri. They're seeing some uh, storms this morning too. Some of those have gone severe, but we don't have to worry about that. We have this boundary that's going to be moving off to the east. And here's our next maker right here that's going to be tracking off to the east and giving us some rain coming up on Thursday. Now your future cast coming out. Here's what's left of the snow moving off to the east and it's going to have a little bit of clouds too. The clouds will break up for a little bit during the afternoon hours so we may see the sunshine later on but that but as quickly as that gets out of here. Look at this. Our next system moves in by 1 a.m. on Thursday. We'll see some rain developing. Now we'll look to change to a little bit of snow coming up for our northern counties too as the cold air moves in and switches it to snow. The winds will really pick up too out of the northwest giving us a little bit of some lake effect snow flurries possible too and of course some lake effect clouds. So how much additional snow could we see this morning? Not much of anything. The worst of it has pretty much moved off to the east. But of course, when we see that changeover, maybe around an inch at best will be possible for Lando Lakes, areas to the south and west, Phillips around a half an inch or a little bit more. Your forecast coming up for today, lower 40s with mostly cloudy skies and some leftover snow flurries will be possible. Be a little bit warmer further to the south with 46 degrees in Adams County, 40 degrees in Stevens Point. Tonight dropping to 32 degrees, rain and snow accumulations will be minimal with that southerly breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour. We'll have middle to upper 40s and a few lower 50s possible for our southern counties with plenty of rain in the forecast. And then panning further to the north, lower to middle 40s also with plenty of rain to be seen. Here is a look at your Northwoods Furniture seven day forecast. Again, rain chances on Thursday, then Friday, Saturday and Sunday, mostly cloudy skies. Highs overall will be in the 30s. Slight chances of rain and snow return on Monday and Tuesday. Alrighty, thanks so much, Devin. And with this early spring weather that we've been seeing, many driveways and sidewalks have become just sheer ice. And with ice, of course, it can become much easier to risk falling. And here to help us learn more about falls and fall prevention is our very own nurse, Christina Paris. So good morning, Christina. Thanks good so much for being here today. Good morning. Good thanks. morning to yeah. you. Alrighty, so yeah, I've definitely seen this on my driveway too because oh, it'll yeah. melt during the day right. and then it refreezes overnight right. and it's literally like an ice skating rink. So, mm -hmm. uh, and you've said that you have also seen um, a lot of people come in after falling recently. So, you know, how often has this been we happening? We have. We've had quite a few falls. Um, you know, statistics show that one in five um, elderly adults will fall at one point, and um, it causes three million uh, older people are treated every year for this um, and lots of injuries. Sure, of course. So it can be really devastating. No, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. I fell last week, actually, a uh, full confession. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was rushing yep. outside because I had a suitcase and I thought I would be late to something mm -hmm. and I slipped and just face planted on the ice. So it really can happen just so easily. Yep. They actually said um, that younger people are at higher risk for that very reason because we're in a Jeez. hurry, we're walking, we're not paying attention sure. and can slip and fall where elderly people are a little more attuned to mm -hmm. the risks of falling and so they take more precautions. Yeah, more cautious. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. definitely not being cautious. <laughs> that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, but what are some ways that people, anyone really can <laughs> prevent falls from happening? Sure, so you um, can prevent falls pretty easy. So you want to be more cautious about uh, what you're doing, where you're walking, um, be more mindful. Um, stay physically active. So if you're older or um, you know, you're recovering from surgeries, things like that. You want to um, keep those muscles nice and strong. Uh, remove clutter, things from the floors that can cause you to trip. Um, get your eyes and your ears checked um, for hearing. Sometimes we can't hear the, the little puppies running around or the dogs um, or vision. You know, we can't quite see dis distance or close or how things uh, can appear. Mm -hmm. um, also know how your medications, some medications can make you dizzy. Sure. Um, so you want to know if that's uh, a side effect to one of your medications and 
you can talk to your doctor about that and they can give you tips to just be more mindful right. um, and then yeah. sleep of course you know when we're tired we tend to uh, not focus and pay attention it's as sharply mm -hmm. I'm sure yeah, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. and what are some other conditions you know that put um, people maybe more at a likely risk to fall so uh, people who um, have underlying conditions like you know weakness um, they have osteoporosis if you're on medications where a fall can be dangerous um, you want to be careful people with vitamin D or um, they, they aren't wearing proper footwear things like that can put you at risk too for falls mm -hmm. yeah yeah, lots of different things can yeah contribute right, to that or yeah. just right. being off Vision balance in general. And right. correct, right. correct. There's mm -hmm. you know diabetes. You you have neuropathy on your feet. Um, people with Parkinson's um, may have difficulty too with stability and movement. Mm -hmm. Right, to prevent, but to prevent, prevent it in the first place, you know how can we prevent it? Whether it's at home or with the doctor. So at home or with the doctor. So we've talked a little bit about the, the different at home things. So getting the sleep and uh, staying you know active, things like that. Uh, tripping wearing good shoes and mm -hmm. being mindful of where you're going don't rush um, <laughs> so that's the big thing with us when you're stepping out of your car especially right now you know you want to make sure you have a good solid footing yeah. before you take off and run right and right. I kind of mm -hmm. I always hold on to something too just right. in case if there's a railing or right. a car handle or whatever yeah I'm, I'm going from thing to thing that I know I can grab onto Smart. just in case so Smart. um <laughs> but you know there are also ways that you can fall safely so how yes. can people do that if you if you feel yourself going down what do you do so I I read this this was written by um, a, a stunt actor and I thought this was so cool when my grandmother was getting older um, we used to talk to her about falling and she said I don't fall I roll and I was uh -huh. like oh okay oh. grandma you roll so um, we're gonna learn how to roll so that's what you need to do when you're starting to fall we all want to tighten up all of our muscles what you want to do is mm -hmm. stay loose okay. and stay bent over don't try to um, you know, tighten up your muscles. You want to protect your head. So you can uh, tilt your head in, so tilt your chin down to your chest. Okay. Um, or if you feel like you're going to fall on your face, they suggest that you turn your head and fall side on the side of your face on, on the fatty parts of our cheeks sure, to kind of protect. Mm -hmm. Yep, so landing on meat. Um, we want to land on our, you know, our, our meatier parts. Right. So on your bottom. And, um, and then you want to keep falling. So as grandma said, you want to roll. And, um, and and not try to stop the fall right away. You want to keep going with the momentum, I know, and the mm -hmm. ice and water, we don't want to get all wet and sloppy, but we can prevent injuries if we're not hitting those sharp, uh, bony prominences and areas of our body. And oh, be yeah. mindful of all, where you're going. All right. good tips, so thank you so much. And it really will make a difference, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes, learn to roll. I learn like to roll, like roll that. with it, I roll love with it. it. Roll with it, that's great. Thanks so much, Christine, yeah. we appreciate it. Yeah. Alrighty, well coming up next, we have what's trending, including how one man definitely procrastinated when it came to getting his license plates renewed. We'll explain. Plus, we've seen the coronavirus affecting things across the world, but one thing that's still on, March Madness. We'll have those stories and more on what's trending right after this. Another injury claim. Another denial. What's the status of that car accident? Denied it this morning. Good. Not a fan of paying high medical bills. Our doctor totally came through. Good. Let's make sure we do the same thing on the next one. Denying. It's what we do. <laughs> <coughs> they called the law offices of Hupie and Abraham. Should we settle this one? Call Hupie and Abraham right now. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Find your automotive and garage essentials at Menards. Clean up tough messes, wet or dry, with this 10-gallon stainless steel shop vac with a 5.5 peak horsepower motor, just $79.99. Brighten your workshop with this 5,000-lumen LED shop light from Smart Electrician. It can be connected to up to 17 units, just $17.99 each. During Menards, think spring sale. Save big money at Menards. If you're a contractor or do-it-yourselfer, make Argonne Lumber your first stop. High-quality materials, personalized service, expert staff, and delivery are just some of the things Argonne Lumber is known for. Stop in and smell the lumber at Argonne Lumber, two locations in Argonne and Rhinelander. When their cry is a different kind of cry. When you know they're sick, but are afraid to know how sick they really are. That's when you want answers. 
when you need answers. Because when it's your child, your baby, it's different. This is where you'll find doctors unlike any other doctors, where we treat the untreatable and conquer the seemingly unconquerable. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Hi, I'm James from Nauka. When I want to check the weather for the city of Rounder, I go to WGFW to check my hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. The all-new Silverado HD adds to the legendary capability of the strongest, most advanced Silverados ever. With best-in-class camera technology and larger, more functional beds than any competitor, the only truck that can compare to a Silverado is another Silverado. Truck month is the right time to get behind the wheel of the Chevy Silverado. Now get 0% financing for 72 months plus $500 cash allowance on all Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. For now, what's trending? And as some music festivals and sporting events are being canceled or postponed amid the growing coronavirus outbreak, the big dance will go on as planned. The NCAA president announced on Tuesday that no changes have been made to the men's college basketball tournament known as March Madness. The National Collegiate Athletic Association appointed a coronavirus advisory panel to discuss options for the tourney and after weighing those recommendations with guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, NCAA leaders decided to play the games as planned. But they do admit that could change if the situation worsens. The first games are scheduled for March 17th in Ohio, and the NCAA president also said that it is up to schools and conferences to make their own decisions regarding their final regular season and conference tournament play. So uh, very interesting there, but I know a lot of people mm -hmm. happy that March Madness is still on. I was going to say, I know that the uh, brackets are going to be done soon, so I'm, I'm sure people are very happy they still get to do all of that, but we really have seen it affecting so many things, including other sports in the sports world as well, too. We just talked about that earlier in the show. Right. Yeah, definitely. Kind of an interesting situation with with this. I know March Madness is huge up here. Huge, so. right? Yeah, all across the country. Yeah, everybody's into it. Uh, I also though did read that um, you know they said that other conferences can make their own decisions as far as this weekend's play, oh. and the Ivy League conferences have canceled um, their tournament play. So okay. uh, I wonder if other conferences will follow suit. Yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's. It's crazy because I know basketball is popular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it really is, yeah. But, you know, I do love the idea of just being able to still watch March Madness, you know, curl up on my couch, maybe grab a beer, grab a dog if I had one. That'd be great. Um, but also, <laughs> too, speaking of dogs, though, bulls running through Spanish streets draw a big crowd, but another animal had locals concerned over the weekend. People spotted this creature roaming through a neighborhood in Molina de Segura, and at first glance, they thought it was a lion on the prowl. But after authorities tracked down the animal, it turned out to be something much less menacing. A microchip found under its skin determined it's actually a dog with a rather <laughs> large head. <laughs> the canine had been groomed to look like a fierce feline, complete with a mane and a bushy tail. In the end, the dog's owner was found and it was returned, and no word on how it broke free of its um, natural habitat. <laughs> but neighbors would probably agree that that haircut was not a very funny joke, even though Devin seems to think it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah, just sitting here chuckling over it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I why would he do that? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Yeah, people do all sorts of different things. They dress their dogs in weird clothes. They give them, you know, yeah, some funky yeah. haircuts. Some I've seen have dyed their dogs, you know, yeah. which, uh, yeah, is a very interesting yeah. thing to do, too. But uh, but that was, that was impressive. I mean, it legitimately it looks, looks like, like a lion. lion. Yeah. Exactly. And I think if I first thought, I'd be like, oh, my goodness. I but would be startled, I too. wouldn't take a second to, like, look closer. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'd be I'm out of there. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> exactly. Though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very fun. And one thing that's a little fun or maybe not fun of you're this Louisiana driver is one that was riding around with a license plate that hasn't been that had been renewed since 1997 which is the year my brother was born louisiana drivers are supposed to renew their tags every two years sladell police said when an officer recently stopped that driver for his expired tag he told the officer he's been busy and totally forgot for 23 years let that soak in there for a second <laughs> the driver apologized and told the officer he would take care of it as soon as he got home no word whether the, t the driver got a ticket or got off with the warning 
Okay, I got a lot of questions with this. How does I, it, how, 23 years, I mean, how does the police not catch us and how does this driver forget? It, yeah, there's no way he forgot. I mean, that's, I, that's quite, yeah, quite an excuse. I think budget cuts, if I had to give my, be <laughs> my best <laughs> If I had to give well, my best guess. Also, I'm guessing that the guy doesn't really drive that much because no, there's no way not. that he drove Could regularly be. and got away with it for that years, long. Right, right. Mm -hmm. but Devin seems mm -hmm. Budget baffled. cuts. Um, <laughs> I and I, yeah, and I totally get it. You know, like things come up. I forgot to schedule my doctor's appointment or my annual dentist appointment. But, you know, 23 years, it seems like a bit of a stretch. Long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, great. Well, we'll have more news and weather for you after this quick break. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Cost Cutters Family Hair Salon. It was in February. I was playing pond hockey and literally had to be helped up. Uh, I was in constant pain after that. So I came to Dr. Drager and uh, they started me uh, on the laser treatment. I realized as I've gone through this every day I was feeling better and I am so happy with, uh, with uh, coming to see Dr. Drager. Contact Drager Chiropractic in Eagle River to see if high intensity laser treatment is right for you. Call 715-479-5995. Why go to an RV show with only a single dealer when you can go to a show with eight? Don't miss the 10th Annual Central Wisconsin RV and Camping Show March 13th through the 15th at the Central Wisconsin Convention and Expo Center in Rothschild. RVs, campers, motorhomes, camping gear, much more. Bring the family and visit the Animal Haven Petting Zoo. Kids casting, yard games, and more. Plus, the kids get in free. Admission's only $10, and there's a $2 military discount. Show hours Friday, 3 to 8, 9 to 6 Saturday, 10 to 4 Sunday. Head to FishingBoatingOutdoor.com for more information. Badger Marine, we sell fun, start living the dream. Make your dreams come true during the Badger Marine Open House Sales Event, March 14th through the 21st. All the latest models from Lund, Misty Harbor, and Mercury, all on display. The best brands at the best prices, now during the Open House Sales Event at Badger Marine. In the cool so, you've decided to go to college. That's cool. So, pop quiz. Which is a better way to earn your degree? Commute to college and fill your gas tank, get stuck in traffic, drive in bad weather, try to find a parking space, walk a half mile to class, or learn online at Independence University. You don't go to college. College goes to you. That's Independence. That's Independence University. And all your supplies, including a brand new laptop and tablet, are included with tuition. Independence U for an independent you. Thanks, Flywatch. We are talking all about a way that kids can get creative. So here to tell us more this morning is Matt. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. So yeah, today uh, we're here to talk about our uh, Chase the Hodeg Art Contest. Um, so every year, um, our Chase the Hodeg comes up in um, June. This year is June 27th. Um, leading up to that, we always do a art contest for kids to uh, give them the opportunity to have a little input on our, our Chase. So they get designed the the logo for the kids' T-shirt. Um, along with that, so um, 200 kids get to uh, run around wearing their design. <laughs> So that's pretty cool um, in and of itself. Um, but along with that, um, they get to join um, us, Angela, um, the uh, for the Y Watch leading up to that day. So it's a special opportunity for kids to get their get their face out a little bit and have some fun on TV. Yeah. So the deadline, um, they've got a little bit of time here to get creative and and to have some fun. Um, the deadline is May fifteenth. Uh, and then um, just so nobody can blame me, um, Kiwanis, who sponsors the Kids Chase, they get to pick the winners. Yeah, you can visit our website, um, www.ymcofthenorthwoods.org. Um, give us a call, 715-362-9622. Um, and then together we build a stronger community. by popular demand at Slumberland. Look at what just $10 a month will get you when you spend $5.99. Our lowest finance offer ever. But act fast, it won't last long. Pay no interest for five years when you spend $5.99 or more. A classy bedroom set, all four pieces, only 10 bucks a month. A mattress with a postered base, 10 bucks a month. 
five-year financing on purchases of just $5.99 or more. And get free shipping with no minimum, and most items can be in your home in a week. Only at Slumberland Furniture. Water makes life possible on Earth and in our homes. Culligan conserves this resource with its high-efficiency water softener, the world's best because it uses less water, and that matters to all of us. Click or call Culligan Water and start saving today. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm from Alpaca. I came to see Dr. Sher because I was having severe lower back pain. It was, it was so bad that I could only walk about 20 feet without having to sit down again. After seeing Dr. Sher, I have absolutely no pain. Can't thank him and his staff enough. How do you thank somebody for giving your life back? Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high-intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. Uh, my five minutes of peace. I wonder what goes into this mug. Well, Marissa, I'm glad you asked. It starts with the world's finest beans brought fresh from the source. The beans are roasted in-house to provide fresh roasted flavor. You can win your own Eagle River Roasters mug. And a bag of the freshest Northwoods coffee. At WJFW.com. Back to you, Marissa. <sighs> For over 100 years, JDC has been a lifeline for the most vulnerable people all over the world. Because we don't just place our faith in a better tomorrow, we build it. Learn more at JDC.org. Right now on Newswatch 12 Today, Rhinelander City Administrator Daniel Guild officially charged in court for misconduct in public office. We'll have more from his initial appearance. Plus, the snow is moving out of here this morning and the clouds will be hanging around for most of the day. Your full forecast is coming up. As a nation, we can't be doing the kinds of things we were doing a few months ago. And as the coronavirus emergency spreads across the U.S., new infections and deaths are being reported daily. It's Wednesday, March 11th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Rhinelander City Administrator Daniel Guild is now out on bail after making his first appearance in Oneida County Court yesterday afternoon. Guild was formally charged with misconduct in public office, which is a Class 1 felony and can be punishable up to three and a half years in prison. This comes after being arrested Monday morning on Highway 8 West in Oneida County by the Oneida County Sheriff's Office. Investigators began looking into Guild in the spring of last year. According to Oneida County Chief Deputy Dan Hess, Guild's arrest is in connection to an open records request complaint from the Northwoods River News. It was after a reporter filed a records request for all written disciplinary records and documentation involving any investigation regarding former Public Works Director Tim Kingman. Guild has served as Rhinelander City Administrator since September of 2018. He resigned as the Village of Weston Administrator in July of 2018 following an unpaid 30-day suspension due to a breach in his employment contract. Judge Patrick Amelia set a $5,000 signature bond for Daniel Guild. And he will appear in court again on March 30th. On Friday, the City Council will hold a special session to discuss potential action regarding Guild's contract. Well, outdoors, everyone is waking up to just a little bit of snow on the ground this morning. Yeah, not too much. Not as bad as we saw over the overall winter time, but just enough to remind you that winter's not quite gone yet. Exactly. For more on what to expect today, let's head right on over to our weather center and Devin Biggs in for Tyler Moore this morning. And Devin, uh, it sounds like we're almost done with that snow, though, um, but we are expecting a cloudy day ahead. 
Yeah, we're almost done with the snow. Some areas are still seeing a few flurries, but it's going to be mainly clouds. We might get lucky and see the sun later on this afternoon. Here's our latest look at the sky cam in Plover this morning. Uh, not too much going on. Looks like the, the flurries have tapered off, but you can see snow once again covering the ground after a decent amount of snow fell down there this morning. Here's our latest look at the radar and satellite. The snow is moving off to the east. Most of it is over Michigan. We're almost done with the snow. Temperatures right now 30 degrees in Rhinelander and Tomahawk. Farther to the south is a little bit warmer. 33 degrees in Wisconsin Rapids. Here is your bus stop forecast this morning. 29 degrees. Some leftover flurries possible, otherwise mostly cloudy skies. Laying on to most of the cloud cover, the sun might peak out a little bit as temperatures, temperatures warm up to 41 degrees. Hourly forecast temperatures warming up throughout the afternoon. Your full forecast is coming up. Authorities in Forest County say two people were arrested last Thursday for delivering drugs. Both 32-year-old Amanda Bildo of Crandon and 33-year-old Marvis Batten of Milwaukee were taken into custody. During a search of their residence in the town of Nashville, authorities found crack cocaine, heroin laced with fentanyl, meth, prescription pills, marijuana, a large amount of cash, and drug paraphernalia. The sheriff's office says an investigation is ongoing and more arrests will happen. No court dates have been set. A third person has tested positive for coronavirus in Wisconsin. According to the State Department of Health, this is the second case in Dane County near Madison. The first reported case was in Dane County, the second in Pierce County in southwestern Wisconsin. Health officials say the first person has already made a full recovery, and the most recent cases involve people who have not left the country but did travel elsewhere within the U.S. Health officials have not released any information on where they specifically contracted the virus. The man convicted of killing four people in Chippewa County while driving under the influence will have a second day of sentencing. Police say Colton True huffed aerosol fumes in November of 2018 before hitting a Girl Scout troop on the side of the road. The girls were with their parents picking up litter and four of them died. True was found guilty of four counts of homicide last December and faces up to 165 years in prison. On Tuesday, 29 victims gave impact statements. The court is set to reconvene today. Langley County closed its trails yesterday, joining a few others in the Northwoods, officially ending the snowmobile season. The warm weather made trail conditions pretty dangerous, rough out there, and that weather is going to be continuing for the foreseeable future. President Trump is making a return to Wisconsin next week. The president will be launching the Catholics for Trump Coalition. This event will bring together Catholics from across the nation who support the president's re-election. The event will take place next Thursday, March 19th at 4 p.m. at the Wisconsin Center in Milwaukee. This is President Trump's second rally in Wisconsin this year. UW-Milwaukee is extending, extending its spring break until March 29th after an employee came in contact with a person who was in a COVID-19 affected area. Chancellor Mark Money says that in a news conference, he is suspending in-person classes and preparing to hold classes online. All classes will be as scheduled until March 15th when spring break starts. The results of the employee's test won't come back until later this week. Six states voted in the Democratic primary on Tuesday, and this tops our news making national headlines this morning. These were the first primary since the Democratic race effectively narrowed to two candidates, Senator Bernie Sanders and former Vice President Joe Biden. Both Biden and Sanders canceled primary night events in Cleveland, Ohio, after officials communicated concern about holding large indoor events during the coronavirus outbreak. And Biden was projected to win the primaries in Michigan, Missouri, and Mississippi, while others were too early to call. According to a St. Louis election board official, a polling location was moved after a man hit the building with his SUV and threatened to, quote, shoot up the place. The man also allegedly poured bleach and water on the voting machines and on election officials. It began when the truck the man was driving nearly slammed through the front door. Witnesses say the driver dumped a bottle of bleach and water on voting machines before threatening to shoot the place up. The 62-year-old man was arrested for making a terrorist threat, property damage, assaults, and damaging voting equipment. 
An election employee who was inside at the time says maintenance workers held the man until police got there and no one was injured. Retired four-star Army General Jack Keane received the Medal of Freedom Tuesday. President Trump presented the highest civilian honor to Keane for his work in foreign policy and national security. The 77-year-old Keane, who served as acting chief of staff and vice chief of staff of the Army, was joined by his wife, son, and brother. Keane serves as a national security analyst for several news outlets and as board chairman at the Institute for, of the, for the Study of War in Washington, D.C. President Trump called him a visionary, a brilliant strategist, and an American hero. Vice President Pence meets with health care executives today and then will join President Trump and top bankers as the administration tries to contain the coronavirus outbreak. Tracy Potts has the latest for us from Washington. As President Trump tries to calm fears about the coronavirus. It will go away, just stay calm. Some lawmakers are reluctant to approve the payroll tax cut he's proposing to ease the burden on workers losing pay. It doesn't do a lot for people who rely on tips. It doesn't do much for people who have lost shifts. We want paid sick leave and emergency unemployment insurance. And free testing. The government says 4 million tests should be available this week. As Washington hashes out details, the nation surpassed 1,000 confirmed cases overnight. Health experts are warning to avoid large crowds. As a nation, we can't be doing the kinds of things we were doing a few months ago. The disinfectant sticks to surfaces as soon as it's applied. Air travel is taking a hit. Delta says more than a quarter of its reservations have canceled. Thousands who were stuck on the Grand Princess crews with sick passengers are headed to military bases for two weeks. I really can't believe that it happened. I've never uh, experienced anything like this. New Rochelle, New York is virtually on lockdown with the National Guard delivering supplies and visits are limited for two and a half million nursing home patients. I feel very close to tears a great deal of the time because I don't know what's happening to him. In Los Angeles, one restaurant owner is taking temperatures at the door. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. A vaccine is in development but could take at least a year and will probably go to health care workers first. So to come this morning in sports, Brewers MVP Christian Yelich is going to be making bank until at least 50 years old. I'll explain why. Plus, members of the media will now have some restrictions when it comes to covering sports. We'll have those stories and Devon's full forecast when we return. Furniture and Appliance Mart is celebrating all week with the ultimate mattress sale at your invite -ish. Shop doorbusters, including our best deal ever on Beautyrest mattresses. Plus, no interest financing for up to 75 months and a free adjustable base upgrade with select purchases at the ultimate sale. Only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. In a moment, it's all gone. Your job, your car, and if you're not careful, your entire future. When you're seriously injured in an accident, call a powerful law firm and find out what your case may really be worth. Put a law firm with experience and resources on your side. I called Cupy and Abraham. Get every dollar you may deserve. They got me more than I expected. A whole lot more. Call Cupy and Abraham. Tell them you mean business. Get the most out of the winter ski season with Newswatch 12 Ski and Board Report. Find the latest slope conditions for ski hills across northern Wisconsin and the UP on air and online. Brought to you by Ski Rule in Iron River. Let me introduce me. Here I come. Yeah. Cuts, colors, braids, and fades. We stand for style. Cost Cutter Salons. Number one in color in Wisconsin. Fishing for the best deal on a new Alumacraft boat? Then get to American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. Upgrade to your dream fishing boat with the lowest prices on Alumacraft's guaranteed, starting as low as $109 a month. Pick from hundreds of boats in stock at the largest showroom in the USA. We'll beat any boat price by 500 bucks and trade in your old boat for even more savings. Hook the best deal on Alumacraft boats at American Marine and Motorsports Shawano. Furniture and Appliance Mart is celebrating all week with the ultimate appliance sale and you're invited. Get unbeatable savings up to 50% off appliances from the ultimate brands and finance your purchase interest free until fall. The ultimate deals during the ultimate sale only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. 
This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Lakeland Sign and Graphics. And welcome back. We're starting to see the first little glimmer of daylight across parts of Minocqua this morning. Traffic's moving a little bit. Roads are wet in Minocqua too. They saw some snow this morning. Most of that, at least on the roadways, have melted. A lot of the area, heavier stuff was a little farther to the south. Temperatures right now 24 degrees in Eagle River. Warmer to the south though. Maryland Walsall currently at freezing. Temperatures will warm up pretty nicely today. Up to 42 today and 43 tomorrow. Before we had 31 degrees on Friday, and then back to 33 degrees on Saturday, then 37 by Sunday with 40s returning for your day on Monday. Here's where all the snow is now. Parts of Michigan are seeing a good amount of snow right now. Here's us, and we're starting to say goodbye to the snow. Perhaps a few flurries are still floating around out there, but things are starting to wrap up for us. There was a stormy side of this too, but fortunately far away from us in parts of Missouri and even in parts of Arkansas where, where they're seeing some severe thunderstorm warnings this morning. Fortunately, that's all staying away from us. This is as this little boundary moves through the region, and here's our next little system that's going to be tracking on in, bringing with it more snow chances, or actually more rain chances, excuse me, but Perhaps a changeover to snow for a few areas coming up soon too. Here is your future gas, which we'll talk about that change shortly, but it's going to be a lot of clouds today. Could see a little bit of sunshine peeking out from time to time, but the clouds overall will prevail. And as the next system moves on in, the clouds will thicken on up yet again, especially during the morning hours on Thursday. Rain not really beginning until the 10 30, 11 o'clock hour for your day on Thursday. Then as that moves in, cold air will swing out of the northwest, switching some of this precipitation over to some rain and snow. Then the wind really gets stronger out of the northwest as this moves through. You can see the pressure gradient here, these black lines really getting very tight coming up soon too. So any additional snow, very little. If in fact, pretty much a dusting at best as not much will fall. But when we see that little bit of a changeover, we're seeing some new data coming in too. Around a half an inch at best will be possible. Models will continue to nail that down throughout the day. Your forecast coming up today, 42 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Winds not bad. They'll be out of the southwest at five miles per hour. Looking ahead towards tonight, 32 degrees. Rain and snow again, minimal accumulations. There will be very small chances for tonight. The best chances will be coming up for the day time tomorrow. Winds will be out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Looking ahead towards Thursday, 43 degrees. Rain possibly mixing with snow late could accumulate a little bit to a half and it won't be that big of a deal. Winds will be out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And here is a look at your Northwoods Furniture seven day forecast. Again, Thursday, the best chances for rain that will change over to some snow during the late afternoon hours as that, as that wind swings out of the northwest and it could get gusty from time to time. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be back in the 30s. Friday will be the only day, perhaps Saturday too, of being below average temperatures. And then Monday and Tuesday, slight chances of rain and snow will return St. Patrick's Day. May have to keep an eye on that. Marissa and Angela. Thanks so much, Seven. Well, Major League Baseball, the NHL, NBA, and Major League Soccer released a joint statement this week announcing that they are temporarily banning locker room access to the media over coronavirus fears. And according to that press release, officials from pro sports organizations made that decision after consulting with infectious disease and public health experts. The statement also says members of the media will have access to players and coaches in designated locations outside of locker rooms and clubhouses. However, players must remain at least six feet away from reporters. This applies to both games and practices. The National Football League, currently in the offseason, has not made a decision yet on locker room access. Members of the Associated Press Sports Editors, a group of sports writers, also released a joint statement. They said that while they must take precautions to avoid the spread of the coronavirus, they warned against unnecessary limited access in either the short or long term. The Milwaukee Brewers will be paying Christian Yelich until 2042 when the All-Star outfielder is 50 years old. Yelich's new nine-year contract with the team calls for Brewers to defer $4 million each year from his $26 million annual salary from 2022 to 2028. Yelich's new deal includes for, the, for salaries of $12.5 million this year and $14 million in 2021. And coming up today is the perfect day to celebrate an American icon and perhaps drink some apple cider. We'll explain. But first, Howard's in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a recipe for some Caribbean shrimp. Mr. Food Test Kitchen is brought to you by Golden Carrot Jewelers and Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio. Nothing separates good food from great food like spices. 
When we mix several together, we often end up with a dish that is indescribably good. That's why today we want to share a few of our homemade spice blends with you. And besides them tasting great, making them from scratch allows us to know exactly what's in them, which is really handy when we're watching our gluten, MSG, or whatever. Sure, we can buy Italian seasoning, but we feel our homemade Tuscan spice blend, which is simply a combo of stuff you probably have right at home, is perfect whether you sprinkle it on chicken or fish. If you're a lover of big, bold flavors, then you're going to love our blackened seasoning. It's packed with flavor, but it's not burn your mouth hot. If you're feeling like you want to escape to the tropics right about now, then all you have to do is mix up a batch of our Caribbean spice blend. The nice thing about this, it's good on just about anything. I like to dust it on shrimp and finish them off on a grill pan or saute them in a bit of butter. Either way, the taste of the islands comes out in every bite. I do hope you'll go online and get the recipe for our Caribbean shrimp along with all of our other spice blends. Maybe whip up a batch of pina coladas like you're on vacation. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen where today we found a flavor-packed way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. This week on the People's Court. You're saying the dog was not on a leash. She hit him and broke his neck. He didn't survive. I mean, this is a horrible situation. It's horrible that this happened. So I just got the PF Black card for no enrollment fee. Really? Yeah, I get all the perks. Like what? Like a free guest. <laughs> hey, Carl. And I can work out at any Planet Fitness anywhere, like while I was just on vacation. Aloha. Wow. And massage chairs. I'm in. Yeah, she is. Get it all with the PF Black Card. Zero down, $22.99 a month. Deal ends March 16th. Wausau and Plover locations. Offer expires March 16th. Stop in and see us today. Monuments are a personal tribute to loved ones. Tomahawk Monument understands this and provides personal service from design to setting. With two generations of experience, Tomahawk Monuments craftsmen work with you on custom designs crafted locally. The indoor showroom in Tomahawk showcases a wide variety of styles and colors to choose from. Serving central and north central Wisconsin, Tomahawk Monument offers after hours appointments and is open year round. Contact us today to put the personal touch on that memorable monument. So, what's the plan? You jump in there, the drought ends, and then the crops grow. OK, uh, what if instead we just built something that would get the water from the river down to the fields, like with tubes or something? Well, everybody walks all the way up here, so. Go on, get on with it. In you go. No, you're right. Eventually, somebody realizes there's a better way to do things, like a mobile service with the fastest overall speeds. Now with 5G, it's a better way to mobile. It's Spectrum Mobile. If you love them enough to relearn math so you can teach them math, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Aspirus. You're watching Newswatch 12 today with Marissa Silvas, Angela Kim, and Tyler Moore. Welcome back. Well, Wednesday is a day to celebrate an icon from American history. It is National Johnny Appleseed Day. Who knew? And he may seem fictional, but he was a real guy. Born John Chapman in 1774, the nomad walked often barefoot across the nation and the frontier, planting trees and pears. March 11th is National Johnny Appleseed Day because it is during planting season, at least in some areas of the country. And fun fact, the apples that he planted were actually too bitter to eat. And instead, they were used to make cider a safe alternative to drinking water on the frontier. And you can mark the day by enjoying an apple, cider, or hard cider, and post to the social media hashtag National Johnny Appleseed Day. So I don't know about you, Marissa, but that makes me in the mood for some cider this morning. I enjoy all ciders. Yeah, yes. it sounds great. <laughs> it some sounds warm delicious. cider especially. Yep. Yeah, it sounds mm -hmm. really good. And Devin, you know, this morning with the temperatures being a little chilly and seeing some snow outside too, we may want a warm cup of cider. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, warm cup of cider definitely would sound good on a little daylight day. You'll need it more Friday with temperatures getting a little chillier with lower 30s and a forecast actually Wait. below average for a change. Wow. But speaking of snow today, here's your trivia question for today. What is the latest month that we receive measurable, measurable snow in either spring or summer? And that kind of spans from a trace or higher. The answer when we return. 
This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. Get ready for spring with big savings at Menards. Right now, over 40 in stock Hunter ceiling fans are on sale. This 52-inch LED low-profile ceiling fan comes in multiple finishes and is only $69.97 after rebate. Pittsburgh Paramount Paint is the best paint guaranteed. It provides the most advanced protection with true one-coat coverage. Right now, save $10 per gallon after rebate during Menards Think Spring Sale. Save big money at Menards. I'm so glad you and Jack-Jack are home. His birthday was supposed to be today, right, Mom? That's right. He wanted to meet me eight weeks early. <laughs> he sure gave us a scare, didn't he? Yeah, but he's so perfect. It's just you and me, Jack-Jack. <laughs> Can I take him to show and tell? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> News Watch 12 brings you the most local news, weather, and sports. That's right. We are your NBC station for national news and great primetime shows. Everything on News Watch 12 is closed captioned so everyone can stay informed and entertained. Brought to you by Miracle Ear. Furniture and Appliance Mart is celebrating all week with the ultimate sale. We're having a party and you're invited. Get our ultimate discounts on absolutely everything in the store. You could save up to 55% off furniture, mattresses, and top brand appliance door busters. Then create the room of your dreams with the ultimate combination of huge bonus discounts and interest-free financing. Take an additional 10% off our sale prices at checkout and three years no interest on furniture. Come celebrate ultimate savings only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Medical bills, missed time at work, life-changing injuries, household expenses. When you're the victim of an accident, it can feel like the weight of the entire world is on your shoulders. But we've dedicated our personal injury law firm to help take this crippling burden off your back. Habish, Habish and Rotier, we fight for what's right. Did they do it again? Yes, they did. Cheese and caramel. It's all gone. And before we leave you this morning, a special birthday shout out to our Monaco popcorn winner, Katie Fielbach from Slinger. Happy birthday, Katie, and congratulations. You win a half gallon refillable bucket of gourmet popcorn from Monaco popcorn. To enter that special someone or coworker from Moose Watch Toll's birthday club, just head over to WJFW.com at least two weeks before their special day. You can enter their name and upload a photo for us to air, and you can also send us a photo and information to the station. Attention Northwood's Birthday Club, 3217 County Road G, Rhinelander, Wysconsin, 54501. All righty, here's a trivia question for today. What is the latest month that we received measurable snow in either spring or summer? And that could span from a trace on up. I'm going to go with D, May. D, May? I don't know. I know, yeah, I've seen it in May too, but I'll, I'll stretch and I'll go June to be different. You were you are wise to June. The <laughs> latest that Rhinelander has received measurable snow is June 3rd, all the way back in 1945 with a trace. So it has happened before. Fortunately, not often. I did check the records, nothing in July or August. So we are good in that, <laughs> in that department. We are seeing some snow this morning. It's spanning from west to east and it's starting out of here now. So we're gonna be pretty much done with that soon. And the forecast today, Looking pretty good, 42 degrees under mostly cloudy skies with that southwest breeze at five miles per hour. Beyond Thursday with chances of rain, and then we cool off for a little bit, then start warming up a little bit, so at least be around, around or above average. All right. All right. Definitely nice. sounds like a beautiful day today, though. Yep, definitely. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope everybody has a fantastic day. Take care. <laughs> Weather Watch 12, weather from where you live. Good morning. Desperate measures. This is literally a matter of uh, life and death. The state of New York orders a mile-wide containment zone in a New York City suburb with the largest cluster of coronavirus cases in the country. The National Guard deployed. The governor with us live just ahead. As the number of cases nationwide shoots up, including dozens traced to a single tech conference in one major city. Canceled. 
Life grinding to a halt around the nation. A growing list of schools, events, conferences, and concerts called off because of the outbreak. Companies urging employees to work from home. Just ahead, our closer look at the public health strategy of social distancing and why it could be the key to staving off a crisis. Biden wins big. The former vice president crushes Bernie Sanders.